So I wanted to talk a little bit about Decent Sampler. I get a lot of questions about the felt piano that I made. If it will work in this DAW or this DAW, what is required to run it? I'm always happy to tell people that it works in all DAWs because I built it for the Decent Sampler free VST. So today I want to talk a little bit about Decent Sampler. First I want to shout out David Hillowitz who built the Decent Sampler and has a lot of great content on YouTube about how to make different presets, some basic coding tutorials as well, as far as how to get started building your own instruments. And it's really simple. So you'd go to, I just Google Decent Sampler and this comes up. You can download the version that you need. So to load a preset in Decent Sampler, let's say you downloaded my felt piano or something from the Decent Sampler website, load it up in your DAW as a VST, click File, and then Load. And then wherever you save the downloaded file, find the file that has DS Library or DS Bundle at the end of it, and load one of those. It's gonna ask you, would you like to install this into your instrument library? I would say yes, so that you know that you always have it. It's gonna take a second to copy things over, and then you have your instrument. And this will work in any DAW, FL Studio, Logic, GarageBand, even GarageBand on your phone. Another thing that I love about Decent Sampler is this file browser. And right in here, when you download it, you can see there's a bunch of free instruments here. So let's check some of them out. It has all these presets. Subfrost bow. Wow. Ooh, cassette. Cool. Let's see what else we got. Unique sound of this two-string Albanian folk instrument. Albanian scale, that's cool. Got some micro tuning. And we also have chromatic for the rest of us. So that's free. I will reiterate free and cool. What else we got? Themes of winter combining vocals, viola, and unique granular processing. Sounds dope. Could sample that this decent sampler library focused on the nostalgic flavor of a crappy cassette tape. Get anything with cassette in the name, I wanna hear it. So as you can see, there's a ton of presets right within the instrument. These are sample libraries you can download directly from their site from within the instrument, which is very cool to me. Great resource for people that are just trying to build their sample library collection for little to no cost. Chord organ. <laughs> Wait, this makes me want to learn. Yeah, it's like a accordion. Like literally a accordion, the Mad Villainy song. Cool. What else? This record scratcher thing. The breathy, fragile sound of test waves cut onto vinyl. All right. Dusty sign. Ooh. Crazy. That's awesome. Just a classic. You hear a sound like this, I gotta play this chord progression. Let's do something with that. Let's grab some drums. Let's do some of my tape drums here. We can chop something out of here. Let's try that. 
You know me. I'm warping the drums here and I'm pitching it down a little bit because the hi-hats are just like rushing too much. So if I do that, because of where the chops are, it'll make the hi-hats lay back. I want to actually play some bass on this. So real quick, before I record bass, this is a cool trick here. So. If you have two clips like this and you kind of want them, you know, keep alternating down here on the clip information, turn on follow action. So this is the normal window you see if you click this, turn on follow action, make sure it's on next. I'm choosing two times and then you see this start to blink. I want to turn on the follow action on this one as well. I think just one time is cool for that. So now, even though it still just says next, there's nothing down here, so it'll go to the top again. Mm -hmm. 